Hey Gary, a really tough pill to swallow that result tonight. What was your take on the game overall? Yeah, look, I think, uh, you know, the beginning of the game we didn't start off well, so that doesn't help matters. Um, and then we, uh, we got ourselves back into the game. Um, but again, you know, you've got to take your chances when you, when you can uh, get them offered to you. And so for, for our perspective that we had some chances late on and, you know, we didn't take them. Um, full credit to Sydney. Congratulations. Obviously, they've, they've won the game. Um, but, yeah, for us, it was, yeah, as you said, a bit of pill to swallow. And uh, there was a bit of a potentially controversial moment at the end of the game. Potentially could have been a handball against James Donkey. What did you make of that situation? Oh, uh, look, I think we're all in a position that we're, uh, we're not too sure how that works. Um, sometimes you, you get the rub of the green, sometimes you don't. Uh, this time we didn't. Um, so uh, as, as long as everyone's consistent, I think that's what we all want. And uh, Daniel Margush, especially in the first half, made some quite key saves to keep the scoreline close. He's obviously come in halfway through the season. He wasn't the first choice keeper at the start of the season. Uh, how impressed have you been with his performances? Yeah, very Im impressed. Um, you know, he's working really hard at training and uh, he's now having a consistency of, of, of playing games. And um, as all young keepers or any any players want. They want that consistency of playing and if you can get that consistency of playing, you get your rhythm and in particular for a, for a keeper, it's, it's vital. So uh, it's great to see him, um, the way in which he's developing and performing. Gary, um, Kenny Backers seemed to have a good performance tonight, um, especially in those final few minutes when you were kind of rummaging around for that equaliser. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, no, he was uh, key for us tonight. So as you could see, we, we at times went into a back three and obviously Keanu made that back three. We're looking to see how we can get um, the, the, the game played in their half by controlling the, the possession and looking to play the ball uh, into their half and, you know, through our wing backs and looking to see how we can start to, to overload in certain areas and, you know, he, he did a good job in, in, um, in positioning and, and decision making in regards to when to pass and when to dribble and things of that nature. Um, so overall, I think he had a, a really good game. He copped a bit of a nasty knock there at one stage too and he soldiered on. So, you know, it wasn't just from the perspective of how he played, but, you know, the mentality that he had as well for the whole of the game was great. And in the 92nd minute, you know, he obviously came pretty close there. What was the reaction on the bench? Yeah, again, you know, there was a, uh, probably in that last uh, eight or so minutes, there was a number of chances with Aquilina hitting the post as well. And um, so, again, you know, we had, we had a number of chances. So, unfortunately, we just didn't take them at this stage. Thanks. Gary, I just wanted to ask about um, Stephen Yugarkovic, a player who probably a lot of fans would rate as one of the best midfielders in the league. But since Mark's come in as coach, hasn't really been starting consistently. I'm just wondering what you guys are looking for from him that obviously isn't being provided in your eyes or, or sort of what's going on there? Yeah, again, a little bit more horses for courses. So we just felt we wanted to control the ball a little bit more and we felt uh, for this game um, we brought Terry in for, for that. Uh, um, the other part of that is that, you know, both Keanu and, and, and Stevie have been um, playing pretty consistently and even with the short turnarounds that we've had. So again, it was um, a, a, not just one factor, but a number of factors. Uh, and to have someone like um, Terry Antonis in your squad, who's very, very capable um, as well, we just felt it was a, a, a time to maybe just um, utilise Terry and, uh, and use uh, Stevie off the bench as, as impact. Yeah, I'm good. Gabby. What did you make of, well, what was the thinking behind that decision and the impact it had on, on the game at that time of it? Yeah, look, again, I think at that stage we were 3-1 down, so, um, you know, we, we made an, uh, a decision, obviously, to, um, uh, to to change some players up. We wanted to freshen, obviously, the the number of, of players coming onto the pitch as well. Um, you, sometimes it can be a little bit false when you're um, uh, looking to try and score against a team that's 3-1 and then you control a lot of the game, mainly because the opposition starts to sit back and allow that to a degree. So it was good straight away. We got a reaction. Obviously, Tate Russell scored. So that was, that was terrific. Um, and you could see the reaction for the rest of the game for us trying to get that equaliser. But unfortunately, that just didn't occur. Gary, 
obviously disappointing defeat tonight. You're now seven points back of the finals and you're running out of runway to stage a run. Can this group still play finals? Absolutely. Um, you know, we've, we've got, I think, in the last seven games, I don't think we play anyone that's in the top four or five. So, again, it's in our hands as, as far as that's concerned and we need to get results against these teams. Um, and, uh, you know, if we can start to play against those teams um, and, and start to get uh, a number of victories, it'll also be a negative for them, if that makes sense. So, you know, from our perspective, uh, we definitely can make it. Um, there's a lot of belief within the group. And, uh, yeah, it just unfortunately tonight it stalled our momentum a little bit because of the fact that, you know, we've gone three games now without, without losing. So, you know, got a week on the training paddock. Looking forward to playing Brisbane. Anything else, guys? All good? Thanks, Gary. Thank you.